So when you met Itoi in Japan, you didn't get to play Earthbound 64, did you? Uh, actually, everybody in his office was playing it. I just oh. he didn't allow me to play it because I'm from America. Oh. <laughs> That's the rule. Anybody here from Japan, we'll send you over there. <laughs> Because the dungeon's coming up. Oh, okay. This is the toilet dungeon, everybody. Yay, the toilet dungeon! This is what Mother 3 is. This is real Mother 3 now. Like things, this. Things just got Mother 3. Yeah, like this dungeon could have been like a demo for the game, and I think every, it would have sold everybody on it. Uh, Duster of One Track Wonder. Nope, his music bug thingy has been fixed. Yes, thank Jeff Man for that. Uh, oh, I don't I like... I remember how to do this dungeon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> be funny if his pants were down and he was straight. Oh, trivia card four. Yeah. If he doesn't die first. Okay. <laughs> Is he really gonna run off? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like I'm taking that playing out in real life. That's really funny. Mother four is a toilet. <laughs> oh. Ooh. That. Actually we can just drop that. Actually I don't think we've dropped anything in this game yet, so. I dropped oh no, that was an earthbound that I dropped a bunch of chickens off of a rope. So, Jeff, have you played any of the randomized Earthbounds before? <laughs> uh, no, I haven't, but I've seen a little bit of you guys play it, and I think I've seen some... I think you showed me a video or something once. Probably. But, yeah. I know the, <laughs> I know the premise of it. It's very yeah, funny. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta do that someday. Yeah. There's a roach in here! Ew! <laughs> See? <laughs> it's as big as him! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we didn't get to see it, did we? Oh, yeah, he, he threw did. the bomb. Yeah, yeah, he ran. So fight the roach first, I guess. I'll give him... He needs... He needs to... <laughs> so we got some people excited for more Earthbound Reshuffled. <laughs> yeah, we can't do that tonight because, you know, it's a work night. Yeah. Like, uh... There's a short period, like, in college where... You don't really have school nights and work nights, it's so nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can stay up till like 3 in the morning if you want. Oh, so Dread played more of the Shuffler, and the Runaway 5 leaving Monotoli Tower was bugged and soft locked the game. <laughs> yeah, so when that happens, you just have to swap it out with a normal game if you can. Oh, I forgot. I don't know what he answered. Oh. It doesn't matter. It's in the guide. <laughs> Alright, so the correct answer was uh, the Civil War, I think. Yeah. I, th I think in I think in Japanese it was another uh, historical fact, oh, okay. historical question. I think it was like the the peasants re revolt or something like that. Okay, that says bash. Bash. Man, I'm amazed we got like 47 people in here watching this. We're, we're in the toilets and people are watching this. <laughs> I gotta tell you something that Riker, Riker Googling Twitter just tweeted. Why do I see retweets instead of search results? Because the whole Twitter is like Riker Googling things. And it's like really disgusting things because it's Riker. And he's finally understanding, hey, maybe I'm typing into Twitter. Oh. <laughs> What's I, your current job, Mado? I am a translator. Oh. Oh. I just ran into the bathroom. <laughs> I made it, I made it, I made it in time. <laughs> That's really cute. He's so happy, he's just yeah. looking in. So over here I think is where it's gonna happen. That one? Nope. Here's where it's gonna happen, you guys. What, what, what? <gasps> what? Oh! <laughs> it surprised me, I forgot. That's like Resident Evil surprise, like jump scare. Mm -hmm. This guy's also really strong, so. Resident Evil um, 2. 
was the only game to make me scream out loud oh. because of the jump scares. Because uh, one time a liquor jumped out of a two-way mirror when I wasn't expecting it. Because I walked by it and nothing happened. But then I walked back and it jumped out. And I was like, you, you scared me. <laughs> Is he hard? Oh, this is the baby elephant lock. Yeah. See, he um, does Star Storm. Oh, snap. Who would have thought a bathroom sign is so powerful? Yeah. But I guess he's not that physically strong. <laughs> so he's like Paula in a way. Oh my god, I beat him without... Whoops. Uh, I was so scared. I'm a scaredy mato. What was he hiding? A honey shower. Oh, those are good. I like those. Maybe I'll use it and it'll do its secret trick finally. Oh yeah. It it's like, thoughts. do you want to like ponder on the existence of toilets? So you know, like, what is a toilet? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Japanese. Potty. Yeah, this is a Japanese. Um, if you ever go to Japan, some of the toilets are like this. Like it's just a hole in the ground with some porcelain there, mm -hmm. and you have to squat over it, and uh, you have to do it carefully, or you might fall <laughs> fall into it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Japan has like super high tech robotic toilets, and then they also have these holes. Yeah, <laughs> still after all these. Years. That's actually like a good way to but look that. at Japan. <laughs> Yeah, a duck type. <laughs> a duck, yes, a duck type toilet. So Dan did say that, um, like, if you go to Japan now, it's just like the game Shenmue because Japan has not progressed past 1986 Japan because that's when the bubble was happening. Yeah. And when it burst, there's a giant toilet in here. <laughs> yeah, when the when the bubble burst. <laughs> there's a giant toilet. <laughs> so I think this might be for leader. Oh. So I think, yeah. So Drade points out, what is a toilet but a miserable pile of secrets? Of, of uh, I was going to say another word, but a pile of crap. Oh. <laughs> Not if you keep it clean. Oh. What the heck's your problem? <laughs> <laughs> I like how you're just standing on it or whatever. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so is it like a squatty potty that he's using improperly? I guess. I don't know. It looks different. Oh. So remember, like, oh. all, the, all the ghosts in the game, and they, like, shoved them all into that one room in the castle. And then, like, later on, they're all gone. So I guess this is where all the, they all went. They all yeah. just went... Is it, like, Hanako? Is it supposed to be Hanako? Yeah, maybe. Yay! There's a, there's a Japanese toilet ghost um, in Japanese lore. <laughs> <Ghosts>. <laughs> hey, there's, what can I say? Oh! There's actually several toilet ghosts. There's at least two. We've seen two in ghost stories. Yeah, they got a lot of uh, toilet ghosts over There's there. There's one like that asks if you want red paper or blue paper. And depending on your answer, like it'll either suffocate you or like cut you or something. Yeah. Something like that. But then the other ghost is Hanako san. She just, you know, died in a toilet. Oh crap, that looked like it hurt. Like Moni Myrtle. So we're talking about poops in the chat now. Yeah, so everybody, what is your uh, never mind, I shouldn't ask that question. <laughs> If you could poop on any planet, what planet would you poop on? <laughs> I'll let the chat answer. I that. almost want to make a pull out of that. Um, no, because like the pull. Everybody's oh God, dying. Don't die! Don't die! I'm talking about poop, and I'm dying. Okay. That that should be the title of this chapter of okay. this of this video. <laughs> I got to remember that one. I'm talking about poop, and I'm dying. I'll write it down. I'll write it down. <laughs> I forgot what the Actually, other one was. Actually, I'll just tweet it at you. Wait, because no, people are gonna think. Ugh, I'll tweet it at you. <laughs> <laughs> I put it in quotes. Okay. So people are saying Earth, Jupiter, Jupiter, Jupiter. But Jupiter is a gas giant. Also, the gravity would be really strong, so it would just like shoot out of you. <laughs> okay, we have the. the <laughs> That's kind of like cool, though. That's we a cool have idea. the good answer here Uranus. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I gotta fight this guy again. I'm, I'm getting out of here. Uh, Poopiter, <laughs> the moon, which isn't a planet. <laughs> Let's well, the moon, I'll, I'll count the moon, because that, okay. that is a, a, foreign, a celestial, celestial body. body. Yeah. Okay. 
I have changed the terms of our agreement. Okay, so BB Game Zombie wants to know, can it be like, not a planet, like, zero-G poop action? No, because that will just go everywhere, and then it would propel you. And you look, leave orbit. Okay. Saturn. Saturn's, Saturn's a gas giant. It has all those movements, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh was, crap, I just wasted. What the hell was I doing? Yeah, and gay just the poop planet. <laughs> uh, okay, so Yeanid said, uh, I'll poop on Ceres because it was Pluto before Pluto was Pluto. That's true. Wow, we're getting serious all up in here. No, that's a star. Oh, I just got that. <laughs> <laughs> nerd jokes. Everybody give your best nerd joke. <laughs> So <laughs> we are going all out for the Saturn, the toilet dungeon, and someone just said Shattern. <laughs> <laughs> so did you hear the question? No. If you could poop on any planet, what would it be? <laughs> <laughs> We're getting some great answers. I walked in on Shattern. And that's, that's kind of There's also Poopiter. Poopiter. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, of course Uranus. That was uh, the obvious one. You read a book in the bathroom, guys. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I, this is, I love this guy. Like, He um, uses a word for bathroom in Japanese that... You know, isn't isn't a standard word, I think. Mm -hmm. So I looked through like, the sori... The sori. Can you put the big chat up for Jeff? Oh. The big one's missing. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so... Um, what are we talking about? I don't know. The Think guy. It says bathroom. Oh yeah, so I looked through the sore eye, oh. and then I came up with this. Thunderbox. <laughs> <laughs> like for toilet? Yeah, for a bathroom. <laughs> I love that word. Thunderbox. <laughs> Calling the bathroom the thunderbox. Yeah, I gotta go to the thunderbox. Yeah, it sounds kind of epic. Yeah. I always like the one that was just water closet, because it's like, well, <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Sounds like you're thirsty though. <laughs> yeah, I I was always confused by that, but I use that in uh, Japan all, <laughs> all the time too. <laughs> this is just this is so perfect. I want this oh, to be the game. This reminds me of uh, uh, Kintaro and Golden. Oh Boy. yeah. <laughs> I like to think that he doesn't even realize you're there. Yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> oh, mean, I should have made like a toilet theme for the background. So, so that sounds like some. Uh, what? Are, oh, the thunder box. It sounds like something a grandpa would say after <laughs> taking a big dump. So, <laughs> so I like this. Like he has a sign. Like I'm out to lunch, and here's where he's having his lunch. Oh. His, <laughs> so I guess that's like his office, maybe. Wow. Oh, right. I just remembered you guys. What? <gasps> uh, but we can do it. We can do it. Ow! Did it. <laughs> oh, no, now it's out, isn't it? I like how it gives you that, like, he's not really dead back yeah. in Chapter 5. And then, like, you meet him again in a toilet. Chapter 7. Yeah, in Chapter <laughs> 7. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the chimera sized hole yeah. in there. Yeah. Oh, there's a present. Yeah. Nice. Can you guys hear the dog? Yeah, they can hear the dog always. That is our neighbor's dog. He's the ultimate chimera. <laughs> oh, oh, made it. To the king throne. I think there was some unused text in here, maybe. Oh. This would get changed for sure. <laughs> yeah. I think they even changed it in Animal Crossing, didn't they? Uh, like, no, like, it didn't. Like in the, in the GameCube one, I think? Did Maybe. they not? Well, I have this statue in the uh, 3DS Animal Crossing. It's still like this. Oh, well. I'm probably wrong. It probably is still there. But I think this would be changed. I don't know what to. All you can pee toilet dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they didn't even change it in the GameCube one. Okay. 
They were lazy. Or they like pee. So, I wonder what signs... Oh, boy. That reminds me of when he poops in the desert. And there's yeah. Signs, <laughs> and there's signs that he's there. I think I might have, like, synced that up with that line a little bit. <laughs> Actually, I think that the special graphics might have been in that room. So, we might have missed it, but... Oh. Uh... Really? It's oh, okay. Wow. Like, if we missed it, that's okay. Then it just means I can make an article about it. <laughs> oh no, this is this place. Restrooms. <laughs> hey. Oh. I like this wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Big Kong bosses check here. Okay. I'm maybe looking in that, maybe in that room that we just left. It'll probably still be here, okay. but okay. I'm, gonna, I'm checking for some secret stuff. Um, do you see anything secret in there? I don't even know what I'm looking for. It might, it's a little harder to see stuff on here, but... Um, Can the chat see what we're doing? No, they can't. Okay. We're looking at uh, secret things. Tiles here? Yeah, that's what we're looking oh. at. Um, nope. Nothing in here. Like, there might be stuff here. Check the other room, then. Yeah, it might not even be here. Um, okay, so we'd be getting zombie says, pretty sure it's not yet. Okay. I trust you, because I don't think it would be here yet. So, Majipsy, but there's no Majipsy. What, what's going on? <sighs> oh, look at that. Look at the, yeah. the horn. So do you think um, the last Majipsy was the masked man, after all? This reminds me of um, winters when you can go get all the cookies. <laughs> yeah. There's a, there's that. <laughs> get out, Lucas. Man, I can't wait to stream Goat Simulator. Oh yeah. I played it. It's great. The controls are hard, but it's great. So who who didn't put this together until like? There was somebody. Long time later. There was somebody who played through this game. They said in the chat that they thought that Facade came in here and trashed this Majipsy's shell. Mm -hmm. They didn't realize that this was Facade is the seventh Majipsy. You spoiled it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Facade was obviously Orange Kid's bigger brother, Oranger Kid. <laughs> See, like. Uh Facade slash Locria was like a jerk the whole game, but this mouse is supposed to show that, you know, he wasn't a jerk to everybody and he had like beloved, beloved, you know, loved ones, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was Trout Yogurt. The Trout Yogurt Machine, the one who was sent in the picture of the oh, trio. Yeah. They thought that, uh, uh, I can't remember. I want to listen to the mouse. So it's kind of <laughs> like, um, like in real life, not everybody is. 100% evil, you know, like, yeah. it's always like a gray, not black and white. Because that reminds me of being a kid and, like, going to school and, like, there's a mean kid in class, mm -hmm. you know, but then you'd always hear somebody say, but he's not mean to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Duster's got some long arms. He does, wow, well, yeah. Whoa. He's really Donkey Kong. <laughs> <laughs> so there is like some unused text. Oh, it's this place that is um, pretty important unused text that happens on some of the elevator rides. I'll point them out on the next stream. Okay. We got about 30 more minutes. So Drake asked the question, who is Pokey nice to? Um, Marshmallow, Little Miss Marshmallow. Oh. But she was just a robot. Imagine. And thank you, Kang. <laughs> imagine Pokey was probably nice to his mother. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I got the impression that his dad was the. Bad influence? Yeah. I mean, I think they probably were both a bad influence, but she seemed like she'd probably coddle him a lot. Yeah. Hmm. And then he's got all the robots over. 
That's true. Spoilers. But they are all running like that cafe area. Yeah. I think it's oh, just no. because Porky's a misogynist. <laughs> Could be. What is this? What is this? I remember that guy being hard. That one. Which one? This the one? snake. Are we so, are we so boa transistor? I love it. Are we so over leveled that we're gonna beat all these guys easy yeah. now? <laughs> Whoops. So in Japanese, that guy whose name was a pun on um, heavy, like heavy metal was his, like his name. Oh yeah. But in Japanese, snake is heavy, like with a B. So, I get it. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Yeah, so it was like. Uh, okay, so. Draid says that uh, Pokey hung out with his dad in Monotoli building, and he thinks that Pokey is like the picture of someone who never ever develops empathy. Man, I used to like just run from everybody, but now they're running from me. <laughs> uh, let's see. Somebody said that they assume that the Mani Mani statue caused Porky's villainy, but then again, he was always kind of a jerk, even before yeah. he knew about the statue. It probably just enhanced it, or. Yeah. Oh, it's these guys. Let's fight them. Oh, I love this music. I always kind of figured that Porky was kind of like a <clears throat> an opposite clone of Ness in mm. terms of storytelling. Like, yeah. they both had very similar home lives. Uh, or not actually similar, but uh, they live in the same town. They live next door to each other. They both got up to go check out the meteorite. Yeah. Um, but Porky had a different home life than Ness. Uh, Ness seemed to have a very supportive home life, whereas clearly Porky's was yeah. abusive a little dysfunctional. and, and uh, not respectful at all. So I guess it almost seemed to me like it was uh, an example of here's this story that's being enacted on this planet, and then you have these two different types of personalities that are confronted with that, and here's how they both deal with it. Mm -hmm. One actually wants to deal with it, and one sees a way to turn into something just for themselves. Yeah. You know, I've always wanted to see, I've always wanted someone to make a fan game uh, following Pokey instead of Ness. Yeah. To see how like he gets eviler over time. Uh -huh. And then every once in a while seeing Ness like you do in the game. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Jeff, have you, like, has Chewie told you the end of the Mother 2 novel at all? No. Okay, because okay. there is stuff about stuff. Never mind. Yeah. You'll have to wait until Chewie's translation becomes official in like uh, 2073. Yeah, so that's actually something that we can't talk about because that's super secret and because it's so insane. Yeah. The, the, <laughs> the Mother 2 novel itself is insane. Yeah, the novel is insane and the ending just goes bonkers. So seeing Pokey's story during Earthbound and after Gigas would be awesome. Yeah, especially like how the heck did he get locked out of all these different time, time, whatever's, yeah. and like end up here? Yeah, that's what I was really curious about when we got to that. I was really interested in that as a sci-fi guy. Oh, the what is the Mother Two novel? It is made. Of, you could probably explain it. It's that. um, in the official novelization of Mother Two. It wasn't written by Etoy, but it was like uh, approved and authorized, and it has his like name on the cover even. But uh, it is just, it starts out kind of like Mother 2, Earthbound, and then it just goes off the rails. Like, um, Japanese fans are not very fond of it. Oh, God. Uh, I can't remember which way to go. I'm just going to check it out here. It's, um, and Chewie's translated it into English, and uh, she's, she's got, like, Itoi's, you know, okay... She's got the authors okay, like she knows the author. I think like she just needs to get Nintendo to agree to it and it's hard to talk to a company, so I don't think it's ever gonna happen anytime soon. What is this thing? Love Walker. I think it's actually based off of like some like Polish movie poster or something. <laughs> something like that. I forget what country it was. I posted about it one time on Earthbound Central. It's your favorite. Huh. Oh wait, I gotta... Do I like this? Hmm, so Big Kong Glass has a hunch that the Mother 4 fan game is a storyline based off of one of the timelines Porky got locked out of. Mm. That'd be neat to see. That's neat. There we go. Oh, oh, oh the back! <laughs> Hmm. 
I remember this enemy just really creeping me out. Uh -huh. They run around. <laughs> It's like, by this point, all the enemies are just insane. They don't make sense anymore. <laughs> and, like, I always saw all of these guys as, like, Pokey's dad. But I know they're not, but yeah. they look kind of like him. <laughs> K9000. I guess maybe the part of the tragedy in Porky's character is that he... It seems to me like the only way he can get any kind of satisfaction out of... out of talking with people or being with people is by seeing them in pain. Yeah, that seems to be the case. And so that's the tragedy of him is that in his mind he's constantly being nice to people. Hmm. He's, it's just uh, for everybody else, him making nice is making everybody miser miserable or something. So he's like a bully, like right. a like an eternal bully. Yeah. The bully who never learns anything. Like the bully of time. Mm. The instead of Ocarina of Time and the hero of time, it's the bully of time. There we go, Mother Three uh, Zelda fan you. <laughs> just asking for it. <laughs> he just does not even move. <laughs> nice. That was some PB oh, Island stuff. That would be awesome if it played like a Zelda sound there. Like it <laughs> unlocked the puzzle. <laughs> no problem there. <laughs> yeah, you go. It's so nice to not have to worry about things. Like fighting things. Ooh, nice. So I think Aquas found the Riker Googling Twitter, I guess by me talking about it, because he just went and retweeted like five things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of my favorites was American mythology, ancient American mythology Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> Think so. I can bring in another fan. Oh, well, I'm trying to equip them. Expensive gloves, angel gloves. Are we gonna buy, uh, fight that Pokebots tonight? Uh, I don't think so because we got like 20 minutes. 20 minutes. I don't even know how far away they are. I can't remember this part of the game. We still have to go through the whole like uh, technology lab area. Hmm. And we have to go through the Hall of Memories, I think. Oh my gosh. It's the Hall of Memories, I think, is where we're supposed to be looking for secret stuff, but I kind of also just want to enjoy the Hall of Memories. <laughs> that swimming bath reminds me of Pee Wee's big adventure. He has a big old bath. <laughs> Actually, that whole guy from Pee Wee reminds me of Pokey. Yeah, I can see that. What was his name, like Cranston or something? Uh, gosh, his name was... Hey, Francis! Francis. Everdrade remembers. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the ball. <laughs> see you later, laddies, Lord. Thanks for coming by all the time. Yeah, here's this place. <laughs> He says, W2F Cranston. <laughs> I got the A right. Michael Brian Cranston. <laughs> yes. Well, he was like Power Rangers and all kinds of oh, weird yeah. stuff, so. <laughs> Cranston. Um, stream Wednesday? I think we'll probably stream tomorrow and finish the game. Yeah, if we can, we'll, we will probably finish this tomorrow night. Yeah, I hope so. Um, yeah, we probably. Oh, no. So, Dre downloaded the HD version of PewDiePie last week to edit a scene. Oh. Dre, what did you do? I want to see it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is it? I don't know if you've seen work. I want to share it with you. Hang on a second. I assume Large Marge is involved. <laughs> well, clown scene and maybe do something with Large Marge. Okay, yeah. So, this is, um, this is Everdrade's work? Yeah. You've seen this? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
This is who we're talking about. <laughs> so whatever he does, I am excited to see. Man, he's a master. <laughs> this he's is perfect. He's a wizard. So I'm showing Mado and Jeff the silence of the anime. Silence of the anime on YouTube. <laughs> oh, I don't need to do that. I'm just going to zap him because I am a zapper. Ah. Dang! Wow, that is a powerful thunder attack. Go home. Get out of town. Were you able to do, since you played on emulator, Jeff, mm -hmm. um, were you able to do any of the rhythm battles very easily? I tried, um, but I wasn't very successful with mm -hmm. it. I think my highest combo was three. Okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that seems to be what most people average at. I'm never going to get 16, you guys. I think you can. I mean, I can go to the, to like the battle memory, but. Like that that song we just heard, I think you could have done. Ooh, I can get an awesome cape, maybe. Ooh, like I know you could do this one, I bet. Just like that. Oh wait, but this one might skip. I I can't do anything. Okay. <laughs> Oh, hey, it's Kevin Chai. Oh, Kevin Chai, what's going on? So I wonder who has the most tomato points right now. I don't know. <laughs> I, I would start keeping track, but then again, no, no. I like not knowing. I like not knowing, yeah. yeah. It's a goofy little thing. You guys got any poll ideas? I can toss a poll oh, up yeah, there. Oh, yeah, we can put a poll up. What do you guys want to vote? How many tomato points does everybody have? <laughs> 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 it's hard to vote. <laughs> Oh, okay. So even, so Dredd was, uh, Dredd was able to get 16 on emulators. But he did it by hold attacking until you get a feel for the beat with mock presses? I don't know. That sounds like god tier level stuff that you're doing right yeah, now. Yeah, you're always like, <laughs> you're always above us. We're never going to reach your level. Like you've already oh. have strategies for the randomized. So Kevin Chai was playing Final Fantasy uh, 7 and Cloud said Dunno and it made him think dunno. of you. Like I don't know. Yeah, Dunno. Like, is that like... That's the thing, <laughs> I write it that way a lot. Yeah, That's, I say it that way too. Yeah, me too. So, okay, so Dre says almost, like almost tap the button in rhythm until you actually press it. I don't know, dude. <laughs> You're just a wizard. Yeah. So these guys uh, have some interesting attacks, and they also drop a rare, a rare good equipment. So Jeff, have you ever done the uh, one 256 item thing? What? No, I have 256. One out of 256. No. Two. Is it was 256 right, or is it 128? 128. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was about to ask if you guys have seen um, some of the pork army co uh, cosplay. Yeah. Um, I've always wanted to build a helmet like one of those things. Let me see. Pig mask cosplay? Yeah. Uh, I need a, I need a map of this place. Oh, okay. What are the 128 items in this game? Um, they're not 128, they're like easier to get. Oh. And they are like actually like equipment for everybody. Mm. Like this one that I might get is a cape, because he's a cape guy. We're looking at the uh, Mother 3 handbook right now. So, got this kind of stuff, they're kind of like buckets? I'm not really <laughs> sure. I've seen... Wow, what's this one? It's not a good picture. Um... This one, oh, they look like just gas masks. Yeah, it looks pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. So Return of Octobot is an Earthbound reference. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it's one of the gas masks, it's pretty good. It's hard to get that um, the shape right. Yeah. yeah. This one's actually from a video game, so that doesn't count. Um, this one is a helmet. <laughs> Ooh, I got a canine weapon. This one's a pig. Oh, now we're just re reaching just the <laughs> Never mind, so. Yep. So Boney gets his one weapon. I think he only has one, right, you guys? Um. 
Mm. And it looks like a bone. Like a rawhide bone. Mm. Rawhide. Mm -hmm. King burger. We have that King's burger by us at our old house. Oh man, that was so good. Oh, I almost missed it. You only ordered like chicken sandwiches there because those were excellent. <laughs>